Hi folks, this is Dr. Denbor. Continuing your education on probiotics. Why should you care about these probiotics? Because they can change your life. Take care of the gut and it will take care of you. Remember, this is your immune system. This is your second brain. This controls how you think, how you are, your energy. So this stuff is really important and some of the most important things that are going to affect you are the ones that maintains overall health. This is where it starts. We're going to cover the specialists later. They're important as well. But this is what's important for you. This will prevent the bloating, the diarrhea, the constipation, the descent into chronic inflammatory conditions. This is what's going to give you a clear brain, energy. So listen up, here it comes. The first workhorse that I most commonly use is Ultraflora Balance. Ultraflora Balance uses two different bacteria, Acidophilus and Bifidus, a very specific strain. And this one has been published over 60 different times in different medical journals. It is the one we use for research all the time. It's called the NCFM strain and it is the most reliable one on the market. We know it works. We know it implants. We know it lasts. So this is the one for just general maintenance purposes to not just have an ordinary life, but extraordinary. For those that have a little bit more needy guts, in other words, they're a little bit bloated, sometimes they have some constipation or diarrhea, there's a family history of autoimmune disorders. Those people, we ramp it up a little bit. Ultraflora Spectrum is the one. It has seven different species, seven different bacteria in it that work also to get rid of yeast and to provide a little bit more diversity to be able to digest a wider variety of foods. I myself use Ultraflora Balance maybe one month and then I'll go to Ultraflora Spectrum another. Diversity is very key for proper gut health. Overall diversity in bacteria has gone down by 70% in the last couple generations due to processed foods, pollutants, antibiotics, and medication use. So this is really critical that we try to bring diversity back. Remember, the Amazon forest is resilient because of its diversity. A cornfield that just has one type of corn is not resilient at all. A simple fungus can wipe out an entire corn crop in a week. The Amazon forest can withstand many blows. You want to be like the Amazon forest. Just to make things interesting, I want to also discover something that's not quite a probiotic. So I'll go into one specialist and on the next video presentation, we're going to cover a whole bunch of specialists. This one that I'm about to tell you about is a little bit strange. It's actually a bacteriophage. There's millions and millions of them in every drop of water. Bacteriophage are competitors to bad bacteria. They're almost like viruses that infect bacteria and just kills them. Been in use in Europe since 1919 extremely safe and very specific for certain things. The research back in that time was very intense because we knew that we could conquer multiple amounts of diseases with it. Then came the discovery of the antibiotic and the research was put on hold because everyone was enamored by it. Well, that's come around now to bite us and the research on these bacteriophages has resumed. I'm excited to use probiophage. It has bacteriophages in it, along with the time-honored good bacteria, and this will destroy the bugs in the colon, as well as small intestine, that causes an upset stomach, diarrhea, even explosive diarrhea. It is very specific, and I've seen symptoms of missionaries coming in that could not have a normal bowel movement resolve itself in just days with this product, because a bacteriophage very selectively kills only the bad bacteria and leaves the good ones alone. Stay posted in the future because I really believe this research is going to take off and become very specific for other kinds of diseases. But for now, 
it is intestinal only and that's why we use probiophage. On the next video presentation, we're going to present a bunch of specialists. Those are also necessary because patients do come in with symptoms and sometimes you have to address those symptoms. But after addressing those symptoms, they always go back to the basics that I covered today. Until next time, I'm Dr. Denbor for DBC University.